Hey everyone, okay today we're gonna go over a couple of uh, things regarding uh, concealed carry and uh, what I prefer as well as some uh, outside the waistband concealed spare mag uh, holster carry options. So my preferred holster for concealed carry is G-Code holsters. I'm sure many of you are familiar with G-Code. Uh, for those that are not, uh, they've been in the they've been in the game for a long time making holsters. <clears throat> They're one of the major DoD contract holders uh, for making holsters for the military, uh, especially for special operations. Uh, they also make them for various law enforcement agencies. But uh, excellent civilian accessible uh, holsters. Uh, they have a wide range of products and. I really like them. I also use one of their drop leg holsters uh, that I've used for contracting in the past. You can see that in prior videos. What we have here is the Phenom Speed Holster and the new Synchron Holster. The Phenom Speed Holster is quite nice. They're both Kydex plastic. Uh, you see this single large clip with multi-point adjustment for you know different angles of canting you know, carrying on the body. I like it. Um, it's not as comfortable carrying appendix, uh, so in the front, because it does sit a little bit deeper, and uh, it, you can, it's not terribly comfortable to wear appendix, especially when you're driving and stuff. Um, it, it, you can run into some issues there with a lot of like pressure and just kind of discomfort uh carrying an appendix so this is probably a little bit better unless you're a really big guy <clears throat> really tall guy or whatever uh probably better off carrying it on your hip concealed uh, in your uh, in the iwb configuration retention's pretty good on this no issues you can hear that click Ain't coming out. So, <clears throat> I do like this holster. So, it is very nice. But, uh, my ultimate preference is the Synchron. Hear that click. Much more positive retention. And that ain't coming out. It also widens the real estate in which it uh, sits against the body. It sits a little bit higher, which is good for me because I'm not that tall of a guy, average height. So, and it's got the double angled mo cloth thing going up, so it actually presses it against your body a little bit more for uh, less profile uh, imprint and profiling, which is really good. It's also, you have the option of having it covered much like the Incog holster that they were making for Haley Strategic with the, uh, the fuzz which is actually really comfortable, uh, adds, adds some comfort uh, to the holster. Uh, and I really like that. So I find that very comfortable uh, for this. And uh, it just sits really well appendix, because that's how I prefer to carry uh, in my CCW daily. Very, very nice holster. And as you can see the clips, you can adjust the height and things like that. You also have the option of adding a mag caddy to it so you can carry a spare magazine. Okay. I, I, I do carry a spare magazine, but I carry it separately from the holster itself. For that, I have a Pitbull Tactical on the waistband, but it's outside the waistband, uh, CCW mag caddy. It's got these bands for retention. Notice. That ain't coming out. Okay. It holds the mag very nicely. The other option, or one of the other options for on outside the waistband on your belt line is something like the Blackhawk mag caddies. Uh, and, uh, okay. Locks in. It ain't coming out. This does have a little wider profile to it, but again, if you're wearing a, you know, a nice, a nice fitting button up or you have a jacket on, windbreaker, whatever, not a big deal. It's not really going to profile or imprint all that much. And this one, <clears throat> excuse me, this one 
as you can see, band retention, locks in, holds it really well. It's not coming out. So, and it's easy to quick draw. So, that's just what I use for kind of daily CCW. And uh, it works really well for me. I really like this Synchron holster. Um, if you're familiar with the Haley Strategic like Incog holster and stuff, um, somewhat similar to that. And again, G Code was making the Incog holster for Haley Strategic for a time. Um, very nice. I really like that fuzz. I really like the, 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 the height that it sits at inside the waistband. Again, you can adjust it if you want to set it deeper, but this is perfect for me. Um, and it's just very comfortable. So, definitely my long-term uh, use holster for concealed carry. So, um, there's a lot of great options out there. Um, Vetter holsters, V-E-D-D-E-R. They make some really good holsters. They also make like leather, like partial like Kydex and leather backed holsters that are really nice. Uh, I like those quite a bit. Um, you have a lot of good options, but uh, some of the things that I'm going to uh, really recommend for you is to make sure that you have some adjustment or that it's going to sit and ride in a comfortable position and height on your body. And that uh, the design of it aids in preventing profiling or imprint uh, through your clothing and such. So, those are really the two big things. But the Synchron holsters just came out. Uh, and I've been, I just got mine. Been using it a little bit. Uh, well, daily. Uh, what, uh, you know, as I wear it. And uh, I've had no issues. It's been extremely comfortable. And uh, again, as you heard with the retention, extremely good retention. Um, so very happy with that, and, uh, yeah, so just something for people today, uh, link will be in the description for G-Code to go check their stuff out, um, I'll also provide a link for the Pitbull Tactical, uh, stuff as well, and, uh, yeah, that's about it, so, metal up, out!